Beijing, the capital city of People's Republic of China. It's a big city. There are, there are about 30 million people living in Beijing, 25 million registered and about 5 million unregistered migrant workers. So Manish and me, we are going to the old part of Beijing to explore today and get some food. Yeah, Manish? Yep. Now we are in the old part of Beijing, inside the second ring road, and this street is called Gulou Daji. So this street is very, this, this, this place is very different from other parts of Beijing because this place has special rights than other parts of Beijing or China. Here, you can pass down your property from generation to generation, but in the in other parts of China, you cannot pass down your property from generation to generation because you the way the property works in China is you lease from the government for seventy years. But here in this part of Beijing, you don't have to do that. So just like in other countries here, you can pass down your property from generation to generation. But there's a catch you cannot sell your property to other people. You can only give it to your uh, close relatives. I've lived in the city for about 20 years and this is my favorite part of the city. Here I can, I feel like I'm, I'm in ancient China. This is old Beijing. Everything here is old, very old. Uh, we're in a place called Hohai right now, and it used to be the emperor's, emperor's, emperor's uh, pastime, or like he used to go boating and fishing in this lake. So we are at the emperor's lake right now. Now it has become a tourist attraction. There are bars and coffee shops and pizza places around the lake. But before. Um, a thousand, two thousand years ago, nobody would have been able to come here like this. It used to be guarded with lots of guards. There, there's a bathroom there. Yeah. Oh, that's a big dog. Hi. Okay, Manish finally found a bathroom. Good for him. Nice work. Nice workplace. I'm hungry. I need to find something to eat. People are playing mahjong, I think. What are they playing? It's a Chinese chess. <coughs> now we're at the bar street in Hohai. It's very bustling in summer but it's winter right now so there aren't that many people inside maybe come on let's go inside the let's go inside the alleyway okay there is a noodle place manish there yeah so maybe we can get some beijing noodles maybe okay here yeah So we're at, a, um, at an old, old Beijing restaurant. So they normally serve Beijing food. So I got one bowl of jajangmian and Manish got some, some noodles. Um, so this is old Beijing food. Paudu is made from sheep stomach. Is it good? I like it. This is the sesame sauce. This is the sheep stomach.
You can only find this food in Beijing. You cannot find anywhere else in China. Paudu. Mm -hmm. Da jiang mian. Mm -hmm. How lay. So this is the da jiang mian. Old Beijing noodles. This is the jiang and this is the noodles. Not many people like it, but I love it. You mix the noodles well. All right, the noodles were all right, not that bad, but wouldn't say, I wouldn't say they were really good. And, and this place is very expensive as well because it's the tourist area. So a bowl of noodles costs us about 50 yuan, that's about $10. It would cost like 20 yuan elsewhere. What is this thing? Different kind of bread. What is this? Oh, I want one. Where is it? Chow mein. You want one? You want one? Yeah. Okay. Mmm, it's really good. Is it? Yeah. You want some? You can take half from the bottom. There is cream inside. Manish has found a little friend. So we've had a few beers, Manish and me. Mm, now it's time to go home. No. <laughs>